by now we are familiar with the werner's theory of coordination compounds right we understand what a primary and a secondary valency are main terminologies like central metal iron counter ions ligands and so on correct so in this video we are going to solve a simple problem on werner's theory so without any delay let's look at the question the question says a complex has a composition corresponding to the formula cobr2cl dot 4ns3 what is the structural formula if the conductance measurements show two ions per formula unit we also have an extra information here which is silver nitrate solution gives a precipitate of agcl and not agbr all right so how do we solve this question let's begin with what is given to us we have information on the conductance measurements now conductance measurements are used in coordination chemistry to determine the number of ions a complex releases when it is dissolved in water or another solvent for example a typical coordination compound like this one k4fecn6 has four potassium ions as the counter ions which constitute the primary valency and six cyanide ions bonded directly to the central metal ion here and this constitutes the secondary valency now remember folks it is the counter ions that are ionizable and can be separated when we dissolve in water now in this case when k4fecn6 dissolves in water we get four potassium ions that is four k plus ions and one anionic complex which is fecn6 four minus so the charge of the complex must be balanced by the number of counter ions here correct so 4 minus is balanced by 4 potassium ions so in the solution we have a total of 5 ions here 4k plus and 1 fecn6 4 minus ion and these ions it produces contribute to the solution's overall conductance measurement so basically what can we infer from here that by observing how many ions a complex produces we can figure out which atoms or groups are ionizable and which are non-ionizable or remain coordinated or bonded to the central metal ion now in our question we have two ions that are formed per formula unit right that means the compound dissociates into two separate ions in solution now one must be the coordination sphere MLY where the metal is coordinated to the ligands and it has a charge it can be plus or minus in this case the coordination sphere had a negative charge we had an anionic complex now it can be a cationic complex as well so basically one must be a coordination complex and the other must be the counter ion now coming to the main part what are these two ions for a composition given here now the formula given to us is cobr2 cl dot 4 in s3 this means we have one cobalt ion central metal ion and the ligands can be two br minus ions bromide ions one chloride ion and four ammonia molecules correct now these ligands can be directly coordinated to the cobalt ion and one of them can be ionizable so let's look at the different possible structures that we can get here so the first arrangement is co ns3 4 br cl br so in this structure we have cobalt ion coordinated to four ammonia molecules one bromide ion and one chloride ion within the coordination sphere and one bromide ion as the counter ion so this is the counter ion so that means on dissolution when we dissolve this compound in water what are the ions that we would get we would get a cationic complex one cation that is conh 3 4 brcl with a positive charge and one bromide ion so we have a total of two ions forming here which is consistent with the information given in the question so based on the conductance measurement we do indeed get two ions per formula unit if we had this as a structural formula so is this it did we get the correct answer but before we confirm let's look at the question again we also have information here which says that the silver nitrate solution gives a precipitate of agcl but not agbr now this information gives us more insight into the structure of our compound and how is that well you see we know that the silver nitrate solution is used to detect the presence of halides in a solution if we had chloride ions in solution silver nitrate would precipitate agcl and if we had bromide ions in the solution 
silver nitrate solution would precipitate AgBr. Now, in the context of coordination compounds, it helps us to identify which halide ion is free or is ionizable and which one is bound within the coordination sphere. The fact that our compound gives AgCl and not AgBr means it is the chloride ion that is freely available in the solution and not the bromide ion. That means our compound, our coordination compound should have chloride ions as the ionizable counter ion so that when it dissolves in water, it would release free Cl- ions that can react with AgNO3 and precipitate AgCl. Okay, so if we want chloride ions to be outside the sphere and ionizable, then we need to swap the halide ions here and that would give us this structure. Yes, CONH3,4, Br2, Cl. And when dissolved in water, this coordination compound would ionize to give the cation which is CONH3,4, Br2 plus and counter ion which is the chloride ion. Here again, we get exactly two ions in solution as given in the conductance measurement here. Now, what would happen if we added silver nitrate to the solution? It would react with chloride ion and precipitate AgCl. The bromide ions remain within the coordination sphere and does not react with silver nitrate solution which is consistent with the absence of AgBr precipitate. So to answer our question, the correct structural formula of this complex with the composition CuBr2Cl.4 in S3 is this CuNH3,4Br2Cl. Now here's a question for you, a simple straightforward question. Is it possible to have ammonia outside the coordination sphere? Would it be possible to have a structure like this where ammonia becomes a counter ion? Take a moment, pause the video and think about it, okay? Well, the answer is a big no. It is not possible to have ammonia as a counter ion in a coordination compound. Ammonia as we know is a neutral molecule. That means it cannot balance the charges of the complex as a counter ion. But the very name counter ion suggests that it should be able to offset the charge of the coordination sphere. And ammonia cannot do that because as we said it is a neutral molecule. Instead ammonia functions as a ligand and coordinates directly with the metal ion within the coordination sphere. But remember folks, it cannot act as a counter ion because counter ions must carry a positive or a negative charge to balance the charge of the coordination complex. So this formula is completely unacceptable.